What's up everyone? I just wanted to take a minute here to show off this awesome Minecraft launcher. So as you can see up here in the top left corner, this is the DigiX Minecraft launcher, right there. And what this launcher allows you to do is switch between different versions and or jars of Minecraft. And it makes it really simple without having to go into your uh, Minecraft.jar folder or yeah, whatever. You get the point. So, basically what you have here is down in the little login area, or whatever you would call this, you have your username, put that in there, password, put that in, just like a regular launcher. Below this, you have a little drop-down window, and it has all these different options here of versions to select. And you just select that, and click login. That would launch uh, Final 1.1. You can select whatever down here. And the very cool thing about this is it has its own built-in downloader. So if you want to get a new version or a different version of Minecraft, go right here where it says download more jars, click show all, and then look at this. They have pretty much every version of Minecraft ever. So you have all the alphas, all the betas, even the pre-releases and release candidates. You have Minecraft Classic, of course, demo, uh, all the final versions that have been released so far, infdev, and all of the snapshots and it looks like they even added in the new snapshots so you can get I think this is the most recent one here and then survival test uh, a lot of the really old old minecraft versions here so if you want to download one of these let's just go with alpha cause why not there we go just click one of those and it will download right here what was that 1.2.6 and downloaded now we just go down here and select alpha 1.2.6.jar and we can log in it'll launch alpha and also you can launch just your regular minecraft by going to just minecraft.jar and that will launch the current minecraft that your uh, regular launcher will use so let's go to alpha 1.2.6 log in and okay it was fast today there we go we have the old uh, purplish login screen and you see you have the old Minecraft uh, menu screen and lots of awesome stuff here. What is this? Huh. That's weird. Alright. Anyway, uh, I have a world on here already, so let's log in. And also the very cool thing on this is it's very, very useful for servers. So let's just use a current example. Let's say Minecraft Final 1.3 comes out because uh, it's going to come out sometime soon. That comes out, you update, and then you want to get on a server you always get on. But the server, you log in and it says you're, the server is outdated because it's not updated to 1.3 yet. Well, what you can do is go into the launcher, download Minecraft Final 1.2.5, and it'll let you get back in the server that way. So that's very useful. And, man, this is taking a long time to load. Um, yeah. <laughs> it might not load. Uh, anyway, oh, there we go. See, I don't know what this Zans mod is and why it's in here, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, as you can see, we're in Alpha. Maybe you can tell. We got all the old, uh, old furnace, uh, texture. It's been kind of laggy on me, too. So, anyway, here we are, and a very cool thing is the multiplayer on this works as well, so... If you can manage somehow to track down a really old server download, you could actually start an alpha server. And I did find an alpha server download a long time ago. Well, not, not that long ago, like a few months ago. I found an alpha server download. Old cobblestone. Whoa, okay. I found an alpha server download a long time ago. I don't have the link, but if I do manage to find one, then I'll put some old servers in the description. Nether portal. Alright, so anyway, I think that is all for this video. Hopefully it helps you out and is useful. And yeah, that's all. So thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video, then give me a like, because it helps me out. And thank you for watching. See everyone later. Have a great day.